Hello again. Welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox One Beta. Uh, the reason I'm using the Beta at the moment is I'm still waiting for the update on the retail version to fix the D-pad shortcuts. It is coming, it has been fixed, we're just waiting for Microsoft to prove the update. But this is a very quick tutorial on something that I've seen people ask about and I worked out how to do a very basic one of and these are player controlled gun turrets not the kind of things you stick on top of your ship that you normally get where you can jump into a cockpit seat and control them but something a bit different and it uses rotors a large grid rotor and small rotors you have a large grid rotor here and a small grid rotor there you have another small grid rotor for cosmetic sake only here when you jump into this control seat on the grid itself you can move and when you select the weapon you can shoot and if you have a camera on you can shoot from camera view now you can also link this up to a remote seat so if you wanted a remote controlled base defense cannon you could do this but how do you do it that's a good question well, the build itself is up to you. It's fairly straightforward. I've got a single block, a U-shape, with a rotor attached to a platform. So before we get started on the main part of the build, I'm going to show you how to get that particular rotor trick working. So bring up your build menu and find a rotor a large grid rotor on a large base we're in creative so we can easily paste this in now you'll see it has a rotor head so delete or grind that rotor head off now because I've got a control seat you can use a control seat a button panel any way of getting into the settings of this rotor so, we want to open up the control panel, hold down both shoulder buttons, press your inventory button, and look for the right rotor. Now you'll see that it's not that one. But it's this one. So we what we want to do is go down to add small head once we've done that come out of the settings and you'll see there's a small rotor head on that small rotor head we can now place any number of small grid blocks like so This is also how you can build on grids with on a large grid with small grid. So in the case of the turret, you could build a simple turret shape. fairly easily and what you want to do is basically add a small rotor always hit the wrong one there and then that is pretty much the idea you build a platform between it and then when you've got your platform what you need to do is make sure down the center of the platform you drop a remote control block we discussed those in a previous tutorial and a gyroscope this is what makes the magic happen because when you've got all that and you've got power Make sure your grid's powered. I've just pasted in a reactor there to make sure this grid is powered. 
when you've got all that and this you go through your settings because you'll need to turn off all the rotors I mean this one doesn't matter you don't need to turn that one off but I would anyway just because but turn all the rotors off because then this is going to function either like this with a control seat attached to the grid if you've left yourself enough room or you build yourself a little platform on it because what's happening is the gyroscope is turning the grid in this case and it can't go anywhere so it's held on the turn axis of the rotors thus creating a player controlled gun turret like this now on an earth like planet you'll also need to go into the rotor settings and look at your braking torque I suggest a 7 or an 8 kilonewton braking torque but what we want is really to remote control this this is why we've got the remote control block my suggestion would be to name the remote control block something if you've got lots of stuff on your grid including other remote control blocks so you can easily find it but all you need to do is go into your control seat or your flight seat or your panel see that remote control block there so what we'll do uh, yeah why not we will pop another seat in push up on the d-pad until we get to our menu find our remote control block press a go down to control and then there we go we now have a remote controlled turret so what also you might want to do is you might want to put a camera on it I've popped the camera just there cameras have a little light on the bottom if you make sure that light is at the bottom on a small or a large grid camera you're fine also the word camera helps so once you've got all that what you need to do is go into the remote control so you control the turret you want to link up your weapons and camera same deal direction on the d-pad held down choose your camera choose the action view like that and for the weapons it's even easier you want to hold down the direction of the d-pad you don't choose the weapons here what you want are block weapons and all you need to do is press a and that will link these weapons as long as you press the direction otherwise they won't work so there we go that's all our weapons connected and that's our player controlled Gatling turret and all it is as I said before is a large rotor with a small rotor head a u-shaped gun turret housing or casing or whatever you want to call it an axle a platform in the center your weapons a camera remote control block facing the correct way and a gyroscope and if you feel like it you can also pop an actual control seat onto the grid itself which means you won't even need a remote control you'll just need your weapons linked and the camera and you have this quad cannon blasty shooty thing and that's really all there is to it as always Stay safe, take care, have fun. Until the next one, happy engineering. Bye for now.